am Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 220. Ha, ah, it's good to be home, although I'm still pretty tired from the drive. We drove straight through from Ogden, Utah to Dallas, and if you don't understand Einstein's theory of relativity, take a road trip and consider how different the first 45 minutes feels when you're leaving home when compared to the last 45 minutes when you're returning home. Oh my gosh, that last 45 minutes is interminable. Just on the heels of an expected iPod upgrade, Sony is announcing new Walkmans that play both audio and video. There are two models. Each has a 320 by 240 quarter video graphics array LCD screen that displays video at 30 frames per second. The really nice thing about the players is that Sony is going with open standards for both audio and video. You can play most major formats, including DRM'd music like you get from subscription services. This is probably going to be a really nice player, and I'm looking forward to getting my hands on one, but I have to make a little fun of the press release that quoted David Washka, director of Windows Client Product Management at Microsoft. Dave says, I believe consumers will be pleased that the new Walkman products carry the Certified for Windows logo and that they will take advantage of the new technologies available in this Windows platform. Do you, Dave? Do you really believe consumers will be pleased that the new Walkman products carry the Certified for Windows logo? There will soon be a new version of the Sanyo Zacti camera available, first for sale in Japan. The new and improved DMX HD 1000 still shoots to SD cards, but now it shoots full HD. It has a 2.7 inch LCD screen, HDMI out, a 10x optical zoom, and it'll shoot 8 megapixel stills. I'm expecting it to be available in the Western Hemisphere in time for the holidays. There's also a new version of my favorite GPS navigator. The TomTom Go 920T has a 4.3 inch touchscreen, Bluetooth, FM transmitter, and 4 gigs of internal storage. It also does provide traffic information and uses something they're calling enhanced positioning technology that uses sensors to detect your position during the times the GPS signal is being blocked by a building, a tunnel, or a mountain. Crunch Gear is reluctantly reporting that Apple and Volkswagen are secretly talking about an iCar. <laughs> the story ultimately comes from a German magazine called Capital. The new line of VW compact cars will, if rumor is true, incorporate all sorts of apple juice into what makes them special. I'm only really passing it along because I already thought VWs were the max of the car world. After all, I see more Apple stickers in the windows of VWs than any other car. Remove the iPhone from the discussion when we're talking about industrial mobile phone design, and I think we consistently get good stuff from Nokia and Sony Ericsson. Sony Ericsson's W580 i Walkman phone is now available on the AT&T network. It's a slider phone that has a 2 megapixel camera, video recording and playback, Bluetooth, all standard fare. What's different is the built-in pedometer and the real unique selling point, you can play both Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man! Woohoo! <laughs> Time for some sleep. Neil, that's my Neil, used promo code GB2 to register the domain name carnivore.tv at godaddy.com. I'm Callie Lewis. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, I am a tater. You are a tater? I know, I am a tater. You are a tater. <laughs> I'm not a tater. You can say that. I know, I am a tater. You, you am a tater. <laughs> okay, I'm a tater. <laughs>